Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to learn how to create charts in react.js using plotly.js for react. Plotly javascript is open source graphing library which is built on top of d3.js and stack.gl. Plotly is famously used by a developer using python for developing data science or machine learning projects. Plotly.js give this opportunity to JavaScript developers to show highly complicated graphs easily. In this video, we are going to use React and create some basic charts. First, we need to open the terminal and type of create react app command. Start the react server using npm start command. After creating the project, we need to add React, Plotly and Plotly.js modules using npm install command. Now in app.js file, we need to delete the codes and create a React component class. Then import plot from the library. First, we are going to build a simple bar plot. To create the bar plot, we need to create a plot. Tag then, we need to add the data. In the data object, we need to add the x-axis and y-axis value inside the array. Then we define the type of plot and add mode to it. We can also change the color using marker color and the desired color. While creating the data, we can also add the layout of the plot which consists of width and height of the frame of plot and also the title for the charts. And here we can see that our app is running fine and we can see the plot clearly. There are various set of tool provided by Plotly to select the data, zoom the graphs, take a screenshot of it and much more. Let's now take a look of another chart provided by Plotly. We are going to build pie chart. To build it, first create a component folder and pyplot.js file. Inside it, we create React component class of pyplot. Then we add the plot tag along with the necessary data for the plot. To add linear values of data, we use values. To add the labels, we put array of value in it, then we add the type as pi, then we add the layout. Here we can see the pie chart. Now we take a look on state management using Plotly. Using this, we can change the data while running the app and also we can import data from other API. This will help a user to create more dynamic charts. Create a new box plot.js file and create a React component class. Then create the constructor and add the props as input. Then we add super props in it. Then add the respective data for the box plot. 
To add the data, we create two empty array. Then we create a for loop and add the random value inside the array. Then we finally create the data along with axis and type for both the data. And finally add both of these plot to the data object by adding it inside the state object. Then inside the return, we add the plot and the respective data. And here we can see that a chart has been created. Now let's create the time series plot. Now create a time series JS file and add the React component class of time series. Then add the plot tag inside the data. We add data in the form of date along with time. And here we can see that a time series has been finally created. Now let's create a heat plot by creating the new JS file. Inside the heat plot JS, we add the plot tag and inside the data, we add X, Y and Z axis datas. Then add the type as heat map. And here we can see the heat plot. Let's now create subplot. This will help to add more than one graph inside the single plot. Inside the subplot JS, we first create the constructor. Then we create a variable as trace and add the data and type of all the plots.
Then we add all the data inside the data array. Then inside the layout, we add a grid object and add the row columns. And inside the subplot, we add the array of axis and finally add the row order. Then set the state for the data and layout. And finally add the data and layout inside the plot tag. And here we can see that all our plots are visible inside a single plot. So this is how we can use the Plotly using React. We really hope that you may have been benefited with this video. Do let us know how you can use this in your next project. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.